So here we are, the end of the content for week one, and now it's time to do a speech. Okay? The goal is to have you doing speeches more and more and more. Remember, instruction, imitation, and practice. Instruction, imitation, and practice. We've had instruction, and this, this introductory speech is going to speak to imitation and practice. Now, this is just a, a light speech. It's an introductory speech. I'm using it because I want to set a baseline so you can sort of see how you improve over the course, what skills you need to work on as we go over the course. Uh, it's an opportunity for us to get to know each other in the medium that we're working in. So lots of Coursera courses have discussion forums where you introduce yourself. I want to have those as well. But we should also be using speech as a way of getting to know each other. Um, this will allow us to develop a pool of model speakers. In a second, you'll see what I'm asking you to do in this introductory speech. But identifying a model of imitation is one of those things. So this allows us to develop that pool. And it allows us to start analyzing good speech, what works and what doesn't. Okay, what is some, an introductory speech that is really uh, stands out from the crowd? Okay, so this introductory speech is very brief. In one to four minutes, tell us who you are and where you live. Okay, just tell us who you are and where you live. Why you signed up, why you signed up for the course and what types of presentations you want to work on. Um, and then here's the imitation element. Who do you think is an effective speaker and why? Okay, so give us the name. Uh, and you know we can go look them up on our own, but give us a name and give me one reason why that person is particularly strong. So I'll, I haven't given, I, I didn't write this out, I didn't plan this out, but is, since this is an introductory speech, I'll introduce myself again. So I'm asking you to who you are, where you live, why you signed up for the course, what types of presentations you want to work on, and what types of presentations you normally give, and uh, um, uh, who's a model speaker and why. So for me, here's how this would sound. Hi, my name's Matt McGarrity. I live in Seattle, Washington. I signed up for the course because I was paid to. No, I wasn't paid to. I, was sign I signed up for the course because I do a lot of speaking, but I've started to do speaking in new types of genres, and I want to improve that skill. So the types of presentations I normally give are um, sort of lectures in front of classes, and what I want to work on are shorter uh, uh, presentations aimed uh, with less audience response, where I'm not really seeing the audience. So that's the genre I've been working in lately. Um, now, a model speaker who I think is particularly good is Robert Wright, former US Secretary of Labor. Um, and the reason I think he is so good is because he's energetic, he's funny, but he's also very good at moving between a key idea that he wants you to understand and some really deep detail. And he doesn't get lost in the detail, and he doesn't ignore it either. He balances sort of the general claim and the, and the specific support very well. And I think that's, that's an admirable trait, and it's one that I wish I did better. Thank you. So that would be a good sample speech, or a sample speech anyway. I want you to do this. Uh, in the next video lecture, we'll talk about how you go about posting these, and also a little bit how you should be thinking about practicing these. Let me just say, uh, as a, by way of preview, when you, in this class, uh, perform a speech for a video, I would really ask you to not record it a thousand times. And I want you to um, go with a speech. So once you start it, once you've got the camera rolling, record that speech. If you find yourself in a problem speaking, if you find yourself in a dark alley of your main point, I don't want you to stop the speech, restart it, and we never see that. I want you to start working on practicing getting yourself out of that situation. Because that's what you're going to have to do when you stand up in front of a live audience. Your business presentation is going to look pretty crummy if you get five minutes in you go, ah, oh, stop. OK, everybody forget what happened over the past five minutes. You don't have that capacity. So you need to be working on getting yourself out of issues, practicing past them. You forget what you're going to say, take a moment in the speech, regather your thoughts, and keep going. Because that's what we're working on, dynamic abilities of responding to what happens when you stand up to speak, what happens when there's an audience there. And I'll speak more in the next lecture to how we do this, how we should be practicing these speeches when we don't have audiences. Because that's, in essence, the situation we find ourselves in for most of these speeches in an online course. But we'll talk about that in a bit. For now, post those speeches online. I want to know who you are. I want to know what type of speeches you want to focus on. And I certainly want to know and expand my own knowledge of really good model speakers.